So this is this is a lot, guys. I need I need you guys to to pay close attention. We've got we've got the Bitcoin map here, uh, and it looks very complicated. But I'm going to walk you through it one piece at a time, starting from the left, going over to the right. There's a lot here. We're going to break it down one piece at a time so that we can see that our 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 projection for when. Bitcoin is going to peak because that's the, that's the question everybody has. When's Bitcoin going? I can't tell you over the last year how many times uh, I've been asked that question. When is this market cycle going to peak? When is Bitcoin going to peak? Well, I've done some studying of the previous halvings and peaks and previous market cycles so that we can arrive at a reasonable projection for both price and for when we're going to hit that price. Right. So over on the left here, we've got this first market cycle, right? From our having, right? From our having to our peak to our next having, right? That was our market cycle. That market cycle lasted 4.62 years, 1,687 days. From having to peak was 728 days or 43% of the having to having market cycle. 57% or 959 days of this having to having market cycle was after the peak, pretty much the bear market. Now, within this peak, we had two distinct peaks, or within this market cycle, rather, we had two distinct peaks. These peaks can be measured from the overall market cycle trend line. That's in white here. This white line here is the overall market cycle trend line taken from the trajectory of our initial bullish price action. Then we get a separation, a parabolic run up or two in this case, away from this trend line. We can measure the risk premium or measure how long it would take this trend line to catch up to the, the premium or the price that Bitcoin traded at at that peak. Right. So at this peak, the first peak, it would have taken the trend line 600 days to catch back up to this price level. And it actually did. 600 days later, Bitcoin was barely above this peak price. Right. Now, in the second peak or the overall market cycle peak, the all time high at the time, just over twelve hundred dollars. It was 700 days to fair value. Right by fair value as denominated by this trend line. So this trend line was, it would have taken 700 days to catch up based on its initial trajectory to this peak price. Now let's jump into our next market cycle. Our next market cycle, right, was from peak or from having to peak, from having to peak was 518 days, right? From peak to having, it was 882 days for a total market cycle having to having of 1400 days or 3.83 years. 37% of this market cycle was the bull market from having to peak and 63% was the peak to having or bear market. Now, this time we had one singular blow off top. We didn't have a double peak market cycle, just one singular blow off top that occurred at a risk premium of 854 days from its fair value. So now we have kind of three peaks that we can measure in terms of our days to fair value, right? So our peaks have occurred between 600 and 854 days to fair value, right? What we can do in this current market cycle is project the next halving, which is projected to occur on March 25th or March 26th of 2024, right? Based on the current hash rate, based on the current uh, mining of Bitcoin, we can project this out to the future, March of 2024, right? Then we can take our scenarios of how long from having to peak, right? In the past, having to peak in the blue here, 728 days and 518 days. And we can measure out from our last halving and say, well, what happens if we were to peak 518 days after the halving, like we did in the last market cycle? Well, in that case, that then we would have peaked on October 11th, right? We're already past October 11th. Okay, that that's that's fine. Well, what about 728 days after the halving? 
Well, that gives us kind of an upper bound of May 9th of 2022. May 9th of 2022, if we were to peak 728 days after our halving, which is what we did in the first market cycle. Whoops. Now, I, I'll, I'll mention this was a double peak market cycle. We are currently in what would be called a double peak market cycle if we were to top at 64K and then run to 120K or so right before going into a bear market or wherever we end up peaking at, whatever price we peak at, this would be characterized as a double peak market cycle if we did that, which is more similar to the 728 day scenario, which takes longer to play out. Makes sense. Two peaks takes longer to play out than one single peak. We can also do the reverse. We can say, well, what if we measure back from our halving, right? We're projecting our halving in March of 2024. And we can take our first scenario of 959 days from <clears throat> our first halving. And that would give us a lower bound of the market cycle peaking around August 9th of 2021. Well, we're already past there, right? This dotted up and down line uh, denotes the current present day, right? Which is November 15th. So we're already past our, our two lower bounds of when we could see this market cycle peak, August or October, right? We're already into no November and we're still making Bitcoin all-time highs. Our next scenario is 882 days from our next halving, right? Which was the, the last market cycle scenario here, 882 days. That would bring us back to about November 1st or October 25th. Again, we're already past that date. So from our, our scenario model here, we can project this, this box, if you will, this box or this time frame of roughly nine months from August 9th to May 9th, August 9th of 2021 to May 9th of 2022. But since we're already several months past this, we've actually now gotten into a situation where we can zero in a little bit and, and say, well, now we're, we're operating in this six month time frame. At the latest, we're expecting May 9th of 2022 because that would be 728 days after the halving. And that's the longest we've seen it take so far. Now, of course, could we see some, uh, something new happen? Could we see a triple? Could we see a triple peak where we go up to 120K, come down to 100, maybe 80, and then pop back up to 200, 240K or 180K? Yeah, but what we're trying to do is figure out the time frame for the next peak. If we see a triple peak market cycle, that's fantastic. But obviously in a triple peak market cycle scenario, we still want to be able to sell at the second peak just like you wanted to be able to sell at 60 to 64K at the first peak in this market cycle so you can rebuy at 30K, right? So what if we say, all right, well, we're currently here in November and this market cycle could go all the way till May 9th reasonably, right? Or at least this next peak could take all the way until May 9th. What if we take a measurement of 43% of this market cycle, right? Because the 728 days was 43% of the overall market cycle. The market cycle this time from having to having is expected to be shorter, right? Because of the increase in Bitcoin mining power, right? So we have this 1,407 days from having to having projection. What if we go 43% of the way into that like we did in our previous double peak market cycle? Well, that would take us to January 10th. That would take us to January 10th, which is, I think, a pretty reasonable time frame for a, a nice aggressive move for Bitcoin here in the end of December, into December or end of November rather, into December and towards the first half of January. I think we could absolutely peak at 120K by, by January. And I say 120K because $120,000 is a very, very big resistance level for Bitcoin, right? Based on margin pressure levels, you can see that 30K was the floor here. Right. And then our next resistance based off of that 30K margin pressure level was 60K. We had a ton of resistance at 60K. We, we broke through it and ran it up to 65K, 64.8. But 60K has been the big resistance. And that's because once you get to, once Bitcoin's price gets to 60K, you can no longer buy it on 2X leverage and hide your liquidation point below these, uh, this 30K floor here. 
right? So what we're seeing right now is Bitcoin's popping above 60K and making 60K the new floor. It's building out the floor here. And as we get more confidence, I think the next stop is going to be 80, 90, and then 120K. So my next peak price prediction for Bitcoin is actually around 120K. Now, if we were to see a triple peak market cycle where Bitcoin came back down from 120K, saw a correction, found a floor at like 80, 80 to 90K, maybe even revisited 60K one more time like we did this time around. Maybe it could then move to 180K or 240K, but I don't think that Bitcoin's going to 240K in January or even in May of 2022. I just don't think that's realistic because if it did, what would the days to fair value be from our current trend line? Remember, our previous market cycles peaked at 600, 700, 854 days to fair value respectively. Now, of course, these trend lines do decrease over time because we know Bitcoin's following a logarithmic regression pattern, logarithmic regression band, right? The, the trend line, the support trend line ends up getting less and less steep, meaning it's less and less volatile. It, it goes up to a lesser and lesser degree each market cycle, right? Somewhat of diminishing returns, diminishing volatility, which is, which is a good thing, right? But if we took a measure from, let's just pop our cursor up here to 240K, by January, right, and measure out to this trend line, we're looking at 1,253 days to fair value, 1,253 days for this trend line to pick up. And I, I just don't think that people are going to be willing to buy, especially the amount of the, the, the institutions that would have to come in to drive this price to 240K by this January timeframe. I don't think that they're going to be comfortable buying Bitcoin at this high of a premium. I just don't think they, they will because in the past, no one has ever been willing to buy Bitcoin at that much of a days to fair value premium, right? More, more the, the highest Bitcoins traded at is 854 days to fair value. Now, we can also take these days to fair value scenarios of 700 days and 854 days and measure backwards from our trend line and back in right? Measure, measure backwards from our trend line to our May 9th projection and say, well, where would Bitcoin be if it was trading at 700 to 854 days to fair value as of May 9th, 2022? Well, at 700 days to fair value, which is where we peaked in the first market cycle, we'd be trading at a Bitcoin price of 106K. If we traded at 854 days to fair value, which was where we peaked at in our second market cycle, we'd be trading at a Bitcoin price of 143K. So this 120K big resistance level is right smack in the middle of both of these levels. So between January, my, my projection for when this, this market cycle will peak or when Bitcoin will peak and what price it will peak at is between January 10th and May 9th, of 2022. So we've got about a four to five, really, yeah, about a four month time frame here. And as far as price goes, I think 120K, 120K is big resistance. And the days to fair value risk is risk premium is in line with where we've recently peaked in the past. Now, I do think that there is a chance we get a parabolic increase. And maybe we see Bitcoin run up to 180K. That would be the next margin pressure level, resistance level after 120, after 120K, more than likely. And then we'd be seeing a days to fair value valuation of about 980 days. Let's just round that to 1,000. Well, the first market cycle peaked at 700 days. Second market cycle was able to withstand more risk on a lower, uh, a less steep trend line. Uh, 154 days to fair value higher. So another 154 days on top of it. Well, what if we added another 150 days of risk, risk premium this time around because we have a less steep trend line? Well, then we're probably talking about 1,000 days to fair value. Well, add 1,000 days to fair value, that would be about 180K Bitcoin, right? So I think we could go to 120 with a stretch target of 180K. By January, between January and May, of 2022. So I hope you enjoyed this analysis. If you did, please do hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and check out Token Metrics TV. Now I'm going to kick it back. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors.
Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.